Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and in today's video we'll be making a couple of vintage style horse prints. I've just got these two thin canvas panels and I'm using a couple of images that I found in an old book at a thrift store. It was like a, a horse lover's diary and they had a couple of watercolour images throughout the book. So I've picked two, two pictures that I like and we're going to cut them out to fit the panel and glue them onto the panel. Now when you're gluing them you want to put the glue on the actual picture itself because the glue helps to relax the paper fibres so you'll get less wrinkles that way but actually in this project it won't matter too much if you get a few wrinkles because it'll actually just add to the vintage charm of the picture so it, it doesn't really matter too much but just make sure you've got glue on the whole um, picture like from corner to corner and all along try not to leave any um, parts that don't have glue on it so spread it all out evenly and you do, it doesn't matter at this stage that there's a little bit of a border because we're going to be inking the edges anyway if you find that there are parts that aren't sticking down quite well, just put in a bit of extra glue there. And press it down firmly. Now what we're going to do, before it dries completely, we're going to get a heap of that glue again. And with your finger, we're going to be pressing that glue all over the picture. Now what that will do, it'll help tighten up any of the wrinkles in the picture, but we'll also protect it as well. So what you want to try and do is just push any of the air bubbles out. And if they do happen to form like a crease, like you'll see in the darker horse picture, there is a slight crease going through it don't worry too much because I mean we're going for that vintage style look so they don't have to be completely perfect but yeah just um, push that glue through and work through all the air bubbles in the picture and the glue will actually help tighten the picture up so it'll probably smooth out a lot of your air bubbles anyway so now what we're going to do is start inking the edges and I've got this little ink block where they're sort of a gradient of colors. So you've got sort of like from light browns all the way through to blacks. So, and you can see here I'm showing you the wrinkle in the picture, which is actually, I really like that. I was actually hoping there was a couple more in the other picture. So what I'm doing is I'm just inking around the edges in the lightest color first. And I'm gonna be going down that ink, little ink block going from lighter to darker. And you don't want to go too heavy. You can always put more on, but just, yeah, be careful not to put, go too heavy with your inks. So now I'm going in with a bit of a darker brown. And we're just going to build up the colours all along the edges of the picture. And also a little bit on the picture itself, just to age it a little bit. Lastly, we're going in very lightly with the black. Just keep the black to the very edges and very corners of the picture, just so that it doesn't overwhelm the picture too much. And continue doing this to both pictures until you're happy with the look. So this is all three pictures here. I've done an, an extra one that I didn't show and I've actually mounted that on just a piece of foam just to give it a bit more of a dimension when it's on her gallery wall. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.